Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, uh, United States, and you are in China, Geology, Life and Healing. This time we're going to talk about uh, one question from a subscriber, what type of vein is it? And uh, as a uh, request by the subscribers, also it's an English version of uh, this presentation. So let's take a look at the, the uh, sample. Sample is there. In question it says, it's about veinlet, so where in this case for me corresponds to a uh, type B veinlet. I detail the presence of a mineralization of a calcocyte. However, the type of bayonets according to Gustavo Hunt uh, for bayonet B indicates molybdenite, calcopyrite as characteristics, in some cases, trace of bornite, and assemblage of textures of uh, uh, sulfites. I have a big question. Uh, what type of bayonets corresponds to you, uh, to the uh, bayonet type A? So, in order to answer uh, the, uh, the that question, let's uh, take the reference Bainet's classification. So, in Professor Copper uh, Gold and Molybdenite deposit uh, in this channel, that you can find it. Find it uh, this uh, presentation, and you have all the answers. And um, next one uh, is a reference in the same presentation. It, um, the um, subscriber refers to uh, Gustav and Hunt in 1975. That's a classification A, a B and D type C toy and Mark Reed and other others uh, make uh, um, a Bainet's classification before the hydrothermal system and uh, later on. On, but uh, there's uh, high sulfidation uh, systems too. So, um, and the uh, next one is the bayonet classification. So, if we are talking about a, a B type of bayonet, we need to have this quartz bayonet. Uh, it, it might might not have uh, anhydride and sulfites. And uh, uh, second, very important characteristic is this uh, molybdenite, molybdenite, calcopyrite, and may it might not have bornite and pyrite and no halo alteration. This is very important. No halo alteration for the, uh, the uh, uh, quartz bayonet and thickness. You have a thickness and the temperature formation will be 400 uh, uh, Celsius and uh, the alteration will be chloride sericide. For the type of uh, A uh, bayonet, it's, it's supposed to be the early quartz bayonet with K feldspar. It might have anhydride and uh, um, uh, sulfide mineralization, may have bornite, uh, carcopyrite. It might may not have molybdenite. And the very distinct uh, 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 classification of uh, potassium alteration halos and very distinct from a strong to pervasive. And the thickness of the bayonets, and uh, of course, belongs to potassium alteration. And uh, so the other. Uh, uh, let's say a uh, variant or uh, other uh, other sequence of uh, um, for this ty type of a it's a secondary uh, biotide halo alteration so you have secondary bio, uh, halo alteration of, uh, in the quartz bayonet that's a, a, a type 2 but i don't think we, we have a uh, um, uh, secondary biotide uh, uh, halo alteration i don't think we uh, we have k further spar or or oh, we used to have k for I don't think so. So uh, we have this uh, uh, light gray white minerals in there because of the presence of calcocyte. It, to me, uh, means that's a super gene, um, super gene process mixed with uh, uh, primary mineralization with us way earlier, you know, in, in the perfect copper deposits in the in Arizona, um, the primary mineralization between uh, 60 and 70 million years ago, but in the, in the super gene enrichment, it's only the maybe the last 10 million years ago. So uh, all this uh, clays and uh, the fracture fields and the sides, I think is a part of the super gene uh, uh, enrichment. So, in order to the, uh, uh, to see if uh, if uh, if this calcocyte is coming from primary uh, primary mineralization from pyrite, bornite, or um, calcopyrite, you find there's uh, crystals of uh, uh, calcocyte. You break it in half, and you can see you be able to see um, uh, Pyrite, bornite, or cacopyrite. And the other thing is very, very uh, important. It is if you see in this uh, quartz vein, according uh, to your, uh, reference, if you see molybdenite, that's the primary mineralization. So uh, I think you are right to make him put it as a B type. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you like it. 
and uh, subscribe and put a like if you, you like it and dislike if you like it. Thank you very much.